Hello everyone, I am Daryl E. McCullough and I want to thank you once again for joining me with another video on African art, this time on online auctions. I um, have a lot of contacts in Africa and despite this, and friends who own stores with African art like my friend in Allen, Michigan, I still like to try different avenues on buying African art. So I've been on sites such as African Direct, Etsy, uh, I'd say, and then, you know, of course, uh, eBay. Now, all of those experiences have been great. I really have nothing negative to say. But recently I discovered a site called Catawiki and I didn't know much about them other than the fact that it's like an international marketplace for online auctions. And I, I found some pieces that I, I, I really found interesting. I thought they were uh, uh, different. So I figured I would give Catawiki a try. My first piece was a gray bow mask. Graybo is, uh, the mask is from the Ivory Coast and it was being uh, sold by a African art collector in France. So I'm going to show you a picture of that and we'll go from there. So paying for this item was no problem whatsoever. I just used their app. Everything was smooth, pretty much like what I would expect when using eBay. So because that experience went so smooth, I figured that I would use Catawiki again. And it actually started from a friend who gave me a Bowley elephant that needed um, some repairs. So I made the repairs and I kind of grew fond of it. So I wanted to get another one to complement it. So that's when I went on uh, Catawiki. Now I'm gonna show you a picture first of the Bowley elephant that my friend gave me, and then I'll show you the one that, uh, uh, following that, the one that I started bidding on, on uh, Catawiki. On eBay, I like to look at myself, think of myself as a sniper. I don't do the, you know, somebody bids and I bid behind them and keep going back and forth, back and forth. I wait to the last 10 seconds and I, I go with the highest that I'm willing to pay for that item. And 99% of the time I win. You can't do that on Catawiki. It's really set up like an auction, you know, where the last highest bidder has the, the chance to, hey, you, you know, you're about to be outbid, you're gonna uh, outbid them or what? You know, it's really set up kind of like a real, real auction. And I like that and I don't like that. Now, as I mentioned, paying for my first experience with Catawiki went smooth, no problem. The second one, paying for that Bowley elephant did not go so smooth. Um, there was a problem with their app and I tried to pay for the transaction several times and it was not working. And I was afraid that I was gonna be charged several times on my credit card. So I ended up calling Catawiki. And because of this, I incurred $100, over $100 uh, in international phone charges. So that was a very expensive lesson 
uh, that I had to learn from that experience. Now, I'm going to show you a picture of the uh, elephant after it arrived home. And, you know, because thankfully everything worked out. But again, that was an expensive experience. So the question is, would I recommend Catawiki compared to eBay and other uh, resources out there? Um, hmm. Based on my long pause, I was always told when you ask someone a question and there's a long pause, that's not good. But I will say Catawiki has some very interesting pieces. I have some lovely pieces. Um, I just would use caution and I, if you're in the States, I would try my hardest to avoid calling them. Um, that is, you know, unless they get a uh, toll free number. So I want to, uh, I hope that basically this, this, this helped you as far as online auctions with Catawiki versus eBay. And I hope this information was beneficial to you. So as always, I want to thank you for your time. And uh, you have a great day.